Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. In this video, I am going to explain about uh, bubble sort algorithm. So what is the purpose of sorting algorithm means? To arrange the elements of an array either in ascending order or in descending order. To arrange the elements in a sorted array, so many sorting techniques are there. But in this video, I am going to explain the algorithm of bubble sort. The coding part, how to implement the coding part for bubble sort, we'll see in the next video. Here, it's a bubble sort algorithm. It is a simple sorting technique. See, to explain more clearly, step by step, step by step process, right? So let me take one array where the all elements in descending order. For example, I am taking the elements 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And this is the array which is pointing to this one. We know that index of array starting with 0, ending with length minus 1. Total length is a 5, 5 minus 1 is a 4 because index starts with 0. How bubble sort algorithm works? In bubble sort algorithm, in every situation, in every step, the index element comparing with the next element to it. The index element always compare with the next element to it. If the index element is greater than the next element, we need to swap. Sir, why? Here it is, if it is greater than, we need to swap means what? We need to arrange all elements in ascending order. So, least value should come first, highest value should come next. That is the reason. For example, if you are, means if you are sorting in descending order, then least value should last, come last, and highest value should come first. So, in this case, index element is greater than the next element. So, swapping them. Values 40, 50, remaining same. 30, 20, 10. 30, 20, 10. Next, index first starts with 0. Next, index starts with 1. Next value is a 1. First index element comparing with the second index element. 50 and 30 compare. Swapping them become 30 and 50. 40, 50, 30 become 30, 50. Remaining values are same. 20 and 10. Next in this one, 50 and 20 will compare. So values become change. 50, 30, 20, 50 and 10. Next that, in that last comparison, 50 is comparing with the value 10. So both are swapping, then values become 10 and 50. 10 and 50. So, means what with the four steps, with four comparisons, one highest element bubbled to the last location. Nothing but the loop completely repeat once. This is called one pass. For each pass, the highest element in the list bubbled to the last location. Nothing but the highest element will be sorted. Next, how many elements are there? The remaining elements are 40, 30, 20, 10. One element already gets sorted, so no need to compare again. Now only four elements are there. If four elements are there, again three iterations required. Here it is a five elements are there, then four comparisons required. Now here it is a four elements are there, three comparisons required. See, 40 and 30 will compare. Here it is, values become 30 and 40. Remaining values are same, 10 and 20. Next comparison, 40 and 20. First location and second location will compare. 40, 20 become 20, 40. The next value as usual, 10. Next. In the next iteration, third comparison, 40 and 10 will compare. Values become 10 and 40. 30, 20, 10, 40. This is how comparison happens. Total how many comparisons? Three comparisons. Because total four elements are there. See that next highest element bubbled to that last location. Next how many elements are there? Three elements are there. 
30 20 and 10 if three elements are present how many comparisons required only two comparisons required see 30 and 20 will compare value become 20 and 30 next second comparison 30 and 10 will compare so values become 10 and 30 now highest element bubbled next element 10 20 and 10 only two elements are there so only one comparison is enough only one comparison so 20 10 become what 10 20 10 20 highest element is bubbled if only one element is there no need to sort so remember the point if only one element is there sorting not required if two elements are there only one comparison is required if you sort one element automatically next element gets sort this is how the bubble sort algorithm works how to perform the swapping operations right how to use loops we'll see in the code implementation part that will come in the next video hope you understood the bubble sort algorithm thank you all